right, so we're going to seat the bearings on the uh, connecting rod. For this, you're going to need an arc racing uh, connecting rod, uh, standard length. Check the description. You're going to need a quarter inch star drive, 12 point star drive. I, I've only been able to find this one place, and that's um, nrracing.com. You're going to need a quarter inch, inch pounds torque wrench. Get them from Harbor Freight, pretty cheap. Shop towel and a vice grip that you should see right there just beyond the camera. You're also going to need the crankshaft. About the best video I've seen on how to do this is from Arc Racing itself. I'll try to remember to put the link. If not, just remind me because. All right, so you're going to take your shop towel, fold that in half, then double over it again, then take the small end, take the small end of the shop towel. We're going to go wrapping it up here in the, put a good tightening on it. Yeah. This vise here you can get from Harbor Freight for like, not Harbor Freight, you can get this type of vise from uh, like Home Depot or something for like 20 bucks. Now there's a special uh, washer in here that you do not want to lose because it's beveled or something and it fits right down in there just perfectly. So that's the first thing. Okay, so you're also going to need some uh, assembly lube, some plastic gauges. Check the uh, description for the, the size plastic gauges you need. So these are the bearings, pretty soft metal, so don't, you know, be careful with them. Remove, take your assembly lube, and this is the Molly type grease, it has graphite in it. You put this on all your parts here, so uh, on the threads here, well, that's probably plenty enough. So we're going to put this guy in here. There's a little notch here, and I see a, a, a notch here and an indent here. So I'm guessing that that's how that goes on. So we're going to put that sucker in there and get it as close as we can. Again, a little indent and a little, ah, uh, son of a. So get them as even as you can. I think that'll do it. A little bit of about a quarter inch piece of plastic there. So we're going to put that guy in there. Replace the cap. The cap only goes on one way. Remember to lube up with either 38 motor oil or your Molly lube. Okay, so now we're going to start out with 60 foot pounds of torque. Okay, double tap. That's 60. And what you want to do is uh, go in 20 pound increments. So 60, the next will be 80, 100, okay, so we'll keep going again, 100, next is 120, and up to 170. So what we're gonna try to check our tolerances now. What you can do here, you, you can't really see this at all. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay on that. Okay, that's good. Okay guys, so remember, OMB Warehouse are the ones who chipped in to make this possible, along with some of the contri contributions from you guys. But OMB chipped in $318 worth of parts to make this build happen. If you want to know what the part numbers are, check the description below because it depends on whether you have the Hemi series or the non-Hemi series of the 212 Predator. It depends on what part you get. That's why I'm not trying to give out part numbers during the video. So check them out. You can buy it from there. Tell them Damon sent you or tell them that you got heard about it from Black Warrior Lures. And that helps us out because we're trying to build a relationship there. All right. Uh, I will talk to you guys later.